Hey guys, Kaori over here, and today I'm going to give you a review, my review, of Wonder Woman, which is out in theaters right now. Before we go any further, uh, I am going to remind you that this video is going to have a lot of spoilers. Um, that's the way I roll when it comes to reviews. So if you haven't seen the movie, and you don't want to be spoiled, and you're happy being underneath a rock, just kidding, I would suggest that you step away from this video and come back later once you've seen the movie and once you want to build a discussion with me down below by commenting and um, so yeah so what I'm gonna do regarding this video is I'm going to give you some of my positives and some of my negatives if there happen to have be any negatives and um, then you can also again comment below and let me know what you thought so okay so uh, well, this movie was directed by Patty Jenkins, and I love the fact that it was a female director. I think it really, really helped her vision of how to empower Wonder Woman, because Wonder Woman is such a strong and distinct superhero, and she's a fan favorite, not just for women, but for men as well, and this is her first standalone movie, which is just 75 years in the making. It's bound to happen, and so there was a lot of um, potential failures but a p potential good for this movie to be created and I think that it really just hit the mark. It put DC back on the map especially when it comes to superhero movies which they haven't been doing so glamorously with. Um, I think Patty Jenkins did just such a phenomenal job in recreating this character and making her a vision that everyone can truly appreciate because I know in the beginning when uh, little things were coming out about um, Wonder Woman and what's going to happen with it we were all a little skeptical of Gal Gadot becoming Wonder Woman because she happens to be a model and not really a warrior like a UFC fighter or anything but I think that Gal Gadot has the look albeit uh, I feel that upon looking at comic books you do feel that Wonder Woman is physically more muscular physically bigger but she handled it well. She did a great job. She had the candor of Wonder Woman, the naivete of Wonder Woman, and the strength and the, the, the beam of Wonder Woman. So that I now I completely understand why they chose her to take such an iconic role. Um, but anywho, back to the movie. I thought it was great. As you can probably tell, I think easily favorite movie of the year. Probably one of the best movies in terms of superhero movies that I've seen. I, from start to finish, I don't know if, if it's been just an emotional time for me, but I really uh, had a lot of, like, emotions flowing through me, you know, from the moment that she, you see uh, little Diana wanting to fight, uh, I got emotional. When you see her save Chris, <laughs> Chris Pine, Trevor, I got emotional. When they had their love scene, I got emotional. Um, there was just so many emotional scenes that in there and I was like holding back my tears but you know and it's it's odd for me because I don't really cry in movie theaters but this one just it it just I don't know if it's the feels of seeing our Wonder Woman finally on the big screen or what but it's just everything fits so well together and I loved every moment of it the positives obviously the fight scenes are wonderful strong um fantastic and not not too CGI'd in my humble opinion um, one of my favorite um, moments of this movie is actually watching the Amazons fight on the island practice fighting fighting against the Germans that come in I thought like it was just such a picturesque view and I, I literally thought to myself how lucky are these people that they get to go to this beautiful amazing tropical place and film it was just beautiful. I love the fact that they paid homage to uh, World War One, and they did it successfully and they the, you know with the, with the outfits and the weapons at the time. I love the fact that there was a little Easter egg Bruce Wayne sending Gal Gadot or Diana um, an email. Slap, I mean sorry sending her a picture and she responds to Bruce Wayne. I thought that was super duper cool. I love that they're linked, they're tying in, you know, the Justice League to Wonder Woman. And I think that Wonder Woman really not just like saved the war, but she saved the 
DC movies, for real. Um, wonderful stuff. I mean, so many positive things. Chris Pine and Wonder Woman, they go so well together. Uh, Princess Diana and Steve Trevor. You know, in the comic books, Steve Trevor has always been her sidekick. It was kind of tragic to see him pass, but it also was kind of like the right thing to do. It was right for her to lose that because now she knows the opposite of pain, of, of of love, so she knows how important love is. Uh, I, I that's what that's what I think. But I mean, side story: I would never date a guy who has never had his heart broken. Well, I'll never say never, but it does cause me to have doubts because I feel that no one really ever understands uh, or how knows how to perfect understands love unless they've have it been there and lost to them so I think that that was really important to uh, the plot with Steve Trevor um, having to sacrifice himself for a world and for Wonder Woman to witness that um, so all of that the lines are great I loved the ice cream scene I was waiting for that I wish it was a little bit a little hair longer I wish there was a little more excitement um, so, you know, everyone knows Ice Cream and Wonder Woman. The outfits, wonderful, like beautiful. I mean, I just thought every single member of the cast was fit perfectly for the role. Uh, I will say that one of my negatives is um, Ares himself. The actor who plays Ares kind of gave it away. Uh, as soon as I saw his character, I knew that he was going to be a traitor of some sort. I didn't exactly know 100% that it was going to be Ares, but I did have an inkling because I think everyone knew that Ludendorff was not Ares. But, anywho, so the reason for that is that actor, and I'm sorry that I forgot his name, he's completely typecasted. He's always been that actor who plays a deceptive, a backstabbing character. So the moment you put him into this, you're like, He's probably not a good guy, and I didn't feel like they. He's a good actor, but I didn't really feel like they picked the picked the right person for the role. It, like when we had the backtrack of him talking about how he doesn't believe in humanity and he's lying there like defeated from Zeus, and he was topless. It was kind of cheesy. So it's not him. It's. I didn't buy into it, and that is my big negative, was that aside from the tiny little plot holes that I'm going to just not care about because overall it was just phenomenally from start to finish, that was the biggest trigger for me was that I felt that the big setup with Ares was too predictable, too disappointing, and a little campy because the actor is always that character. Um, Anyway, that being said, that is kind of my quick review of Wonder Woman. I can speak on a lot more of it, but overall, great job, and it does definitely give me hope for other DC movies, and I do hope there's a Wonder Woman too. I know Patty Jenkins has mentioned she'd be down for that, and man, I, you know, it's funny because two years ago when they announced Wonder Woman movie, I didn't really have high expectations for it. I wasn't that excited, but this one... Hands down, my movie of the year. The women are phenomenal. I love, I love a lot of the lines. I love how she says that she reads 12 books about sex. And when she reaches the end, she realizes she reads that men, uh, they're necessary for reproduction, but they're not needed for happiness. And I'm just like, you go, girl. You go, girl. I mean, I, I, I just loved it so much from start to finish. I will definitely go see it again, but tell me what you thought of Wonder Woman, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts, and thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you next time, and I promise you I will be doing a lot more videoing. Catch you later.